Good afternoon. It's 52 Tax Handmade Time, uh, organised by Anne Brooke. Um, I'll leave a link down below for Anne's channel. Um, yeah, just a plique this week. A uh, little birdie. I'm going to do exactly the same. This is take two. I'm going to be very honest with you. Take one was a disaster. So, yeah, I'm starting again, basically. So, um, I've cut my bird shape. I've done him a little wing, a little fluffy tail. I'm going to put some... Um, Anne did like a a peacock type crown with um, pistol stitch. I think I'll do the same. I won't do it with fabric. I'll just do it with stitch. Um, at the moment, I've got um, Steph Francis thick mercerized cotton number 48 in this needle um i've got a thinner thread at the back here but i've lost the ticket for that it's another steph francis one but i don't know where that's gone um and i've also got this thick one here um medium perle steph francis again uh, number 19 uh because depending on time i might put some little sequin flowers on like that i don't know we'll, we'll mess around with something so Let's just clear the decks a bit. Right, I've got my little iron warmed up next to me. Um, as for scraps, I keep a box of this stuff. Um, it's here. Uh, any little... It, they're all backed with um, Bondaweb I use. Uh, no, Heat and Bond, rather. Um, don't ever get the red one. This one's got red the red one on it, and you can't sew through that with a needle. It's shocking. It's so thick. Um, so go for the purple if you use it. For me, personally, it's much more superior than uh, Bondaweb. Uh, it gives you like a plastic coating on the back, which is much nicer. I was trying to find a bit to show you. Um, see, that's Bond that's um, that's Bondaweb, which is a really thin, papery one. Um, at the risk of moving my design, I don't know if you can see. It sort of gives it almost like a plaster-sized back. And that is a very strong adhesive on the back there. I've never had any trouble with it, and my fabric has never frayed uh, when I've backed it with that fab with that stuff. So I just get my birdie back in place. Stay still. So yeah, um, I already had some of this stuff ready to go, so that's fine. I'm just going to use it. Uh, right, let's quickly iron that. The pile is probably going to go down a bit here, but. Because I've got like a, um, a velvety, yeah, uh, squash the pile, never mind. Uh, I can't remember what you call it. Anyway, velvety stuff. Oh no, man, we need all things upside down. Oh, I hadn't taken the backing off. It does help if you take the backing off. Yowza, that's warm. Okay, <sighs> yeah. In order for it to work... gold take one was a disaster zone come on take two you gotta work this time i just chose the wrong fabric the wrong colors the threads wouldn't work see i haven't even taken the backing off that bit oh for pete's sake i'm tired that's my problem i'm absolutely shattered and I don't, well, I do know why. I've been doing a lot of exercise. I've been walking a lot. So, right, that's better. Amazing if it sticks, isn't it? You know, if you take the sticky stuff off the bone. Right. Okay. Right, let's turn the iron off because, you know, I know what I'm like. Okie dokie. What am I going to do? Stitches wise. I don't know. Um, I do like the Pekingese. Will you go through? Thank you. I do like the Pekingese stitch, which is a loopy one, which we did week. Oh, I don't know. I think it was week twenty. I saw earlier. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. Um, so you'd have a fluffy underbelly. That might be quite nice actually. To let's outline him first because he's kind of disappeared. Don't know what I'm going to call mine yet. Probably spot. I always choose thick fabrics. Why do I always do that to myself? 
So I'm just going to do out a really quick running stitch around the edge. You must stay in screen. I'll move over a bit because the um, phone's on charge and I forget that the camera's the other end. So I thought all I need now is for the camera to run out of juice and stop filming. <sighs> yeah. And I don't think I'd do this week's. <laughs> Yes, it's been a lot of walking this weekend, so it's Monday today, so I'm a bit late filming. But better late than never. I should have done the stitching on the bird as opposed to the background, but... Yeah. Okay. Let's try that again. See, this is my problem. I don't pre-think things. I just, I just dive straight in. Let's actually get on the bird. Might actually see the stitching this time. So. still very undecided about whether to do the next project with Anne with the flags I must message her actually because I'll tell you what my problem is is like you know if I join whatever I, I don't know how she's gonna um, do the demos whether it would be kind of like on a Patreon thing or through buy, buy me a coffee thing, which I didn't know you could do. I've got that buy me a coffee, but I never. Anyway, um, so if I pay the £3 a month and then, or yeah, £3 a month or week. Was it a month or a week? I want to say a month. I could be wrong. Um, anyway, if I do do that and then I film it because, you know, I'd like to carry on doing that. You know, how's she going to benefit from those people that just wait for me to put it out there and then just do it themselves? I don't know if that makes any sense. Um, yeah, because potentially us people that do this and film it and put it on YouTube, are we going to be stopped doing that? I don't know. I need to... I need to message her, I guess, and find out a bit more detail. I know a lot of people aren't happy about it. <laughs> but Sounds right. She charges for workshops. This is kind of like workshops on the web, isn't it, technically? Right, let's just go back around this baby again. I don't know. It's all very, very political. <laughs> I don't do politics. <laughs> Yeah. So because of that, I don't quite know whether I'll be doing the flag project. I don't know. Because if I can't film it, I do enough stitching in my own time. So what's the benefit for me to? I don't know. Oh, I have to get my pliers. That's really hurting my hands. Going through quite a few layers of fabric there, and it doesn't help that the background one's really thick either. Come on, hands, just work. Thank you. I've just been out and cut the grass, and I've got quite cold hands now. Hopefully that will be the last cut of the year until spring. We'll see. It's a bit better. You can actually see it now. So let's carefully gauge these ones. 
to meet up with that one. And running stitch around the birdie done. Okay. Now in these, I think with these dots, I might just do French knots just to hold them down and to decorate them. I could do French knots all over the bird, but I think that'll be a bit too much. Not going to do massive ones. I'm sorry about the light, it's getting late in the afternoon and uh, the light is fading rapidly. I've got the ring light on, but. I think it looks, yeah, it looks alright. Sorry, I'm doing it again, aren't I? Come over this side, Susan. I'm so used to going over that side. The trouble with having a ring light is you fight with the shadows. do here is think of a bully or not do I go right up there could do couldn't I let's try it let's see what it looks like Ow. Yeah, sometimes they go absolutely perfect and other times they're an absolute pain. That one didn't go very well at all. I 
Okay, just do one more in the middle, I think. Just to balance those two. Just a little V. I've done a little V there. So we just go to there. I don't think I chose the right fabrics, but it's fine. want to pull this too hard because it tends to break quite easily. Come on. It's not too bad. Okay. Now for his eye, um, I've just got a small gold sequin. Um, I did, yeah, Anne did a sequin as well, didn't she? So that's the smallest one I've got. So and that is what's going on. Stop that piece there because we are running out of thread. All right, it's not beautiful, but it's better than take one. I can tell you, right. Okay, I really do fancy doing the big fluffy feathers off the top there and on there as well. I was wondering about lime green. How much is on there? And then it goes what? It goes blue. Now let's do a bit of that. I'm going to do pistol stitch on my hair. I don't think you can see it. I've got three little yellow bits at the top there. So I'm going to try and hit those. Out there. In the shadows. It's a bit of a joke, isn't it? I hope it's not causing too much neither for you guys.
Oh, pretty. So I'm going to do some here. I think I might actually. I'll tell you what I was thinking was. Um, don't know whether they look a bit silly. Uh, what's it called? Uh, fly stitch. Stop leaning on that nerve <laughs> and shake. Oh, wrong way around, darn. Um, Uh, no, I need to undo it, don't I? I was thinking, can I blag it? But no, I can't. Right. Where are you? You'd think it'd be one of these, wouldn't you? Is it you? Or is it? Or stitch instead. Okay, so let's um, let's finish that one off. Might show up all right. So I don't know what this one is. It's a Steph Francis one, but I've lost the um, the little ticket for it. So I don't know what it's called. But I know it's a Steph Francis one because it was in my Steph Francis box. You use it out. Use it double because it's incredibly fine. If you can pick up on how fine that is. Yeah, it's really, really thin. Now, what I'm thinking is... So... About there. Sorry, dragging it into myself again. <clears throat> I think it's 
a bit of fetus. You can barely see his little feet, but they're there. Um, I might try a bit of um, come on, it's cold. Um, uh, how to do it? Is it one forward, one back? I think. I'm doing this right. It might be a bit too far spaced out, actually. Big knees, big knees stitch. I think I'm doing it wrong, so go and watch. <laughs> watch somebody else do it. Anyway, I'll see what this looks like. If it looks rubbish, we'll take it out. It's the one thing with stitch. You can ah, God, these are new needles and they are so sharp. Yowza, get off my finger. Ow! <laughs> Blimey! I need some danger money. Right, sneak in one more if we can. I can't take it down there. Oh, there we go. Little feathery bottom. <clears throat> trying to even those two up a bit yeah i can't see his feet now but never mind they're there i know they're there and i think that might do actually you know let's get those little flowers on I don't know what I'm going to call mine. What does she call those? Oh, I can't remember. Bertie? Is it Bertie? I can't remember. It obviously doesn't matter. Tested to see if the eye of the needle goes through. Luckily, it does. That was all good. This fabric is fraying like a bilio. <clears throat> so, I don't think we'll push our luck too far by putting on a million sequin flowers. If we just have two there. Whoop. Mm. 
naughty. Drag the thread across there. That'll do. We sometimes try and do far too much on these little things. Oh, fine. <laughs> I give up. Okay, I obviously don't need to tie a knot there. Right. I'm not too worried. There are only little tags. And I'll put a double glue on the back anyway. Oh, look at this. Slightly annoying. There's my good scissors. Stop fraying. You need to chop off. You need chopping off. Right, okay. I don't think... Well, I haven't got a tag made, so... It's all right. Um, it's not as characterful as um, the one that Anne did, but and I've no doubt Rachel's will be beautiful. <laughs> anyway, this is how you sort of come to me just to see, like you know, you don't feel like inadequate then when you see mine. Do you? All right, so that is week. Oh, I don't know. Can't remember. What did we do last week? sticks last week wasn't it yeah uh week 46 so this must be week 47 so there we are little birdie applique basically and then just stitch on top so i did um bullion stitch pistol stitch uh fly stitch i think it was called wasn't it some more bullion stitch um pekingese stitch a couple of french knots and a partridge in a pear tree <laughs> see you on the next one bye